All right, good morning, yogis. It is a pleasure to be with you today. Um, my name is Kelly, and I'll be your guide for class today. And so we're going to start out with a little bit of breath work this morning, and um, and then we're just going to move into a bit of a, a flow. We'll take our bit of time um, kind of warming up and moving slow. We'll pick up the pace just slightly um, for a few minutes in the middle of class, and then we'll slow it back down um, and have a kind of long surrender with some um, good um, just stretches and taking it easy on our bodies today. Um, so I am um, going to, um, today's uh, flow is a dedication flow, and so if you've never done a dedication flow, um, welcome, and, and really a dedication flow is just to um, create an intention to, to share energy, so that's what we're here to do today, um, and as therapists, we are constantly in this exchange of energy with our clients, um, giving and taking energy um, out and back in, right? Um, so this constant exchange of energy between therapist and client, client and therapist, there can be a, um, a resonance of increased um, energy and uplifting and there can also be a resonance of um, kind of draining or sucking us down into um, places maybe we don't want to vibrate our energy at and, and so I find it helpful and important to really find ways to um, create a space where we can hold an intention where we are um, really dedicating some positive energy and holding some light in them. So that's what we're gonna practice. That's what we're gonna practice this morning. Um, so again, we're gonna start with a little bit of breath work just to get us grounded. So as you are ready, just begin to come into a comfortable seated position. And um, yeah, just settle your sits bones onto the earth. Set However you feel comfortable, cross-legged, legs straight out in front of you, maybe knees bent underneath, just a place where you can be comfortable for a few minutes. And then we're going to set our palms on top of our lap and um, palms open to the sky. Relax your shoulders down and back. And we'll just start with a couple of big, easy breaths, and then I'll prompt us through the breath that we're going to do this morning. So first take it. Big exhale out, exhale out all of your air. Big inhale through the nose, fill up. Again, exhale out all of your air. Big inhale through the nose. One more time, big exhale, open mouth. Inhale, breathe in through the nose. Let it go. Return your breath to a comfortable pace. As I begin to describe the breath, and then I'll guide us through. So the breath that we're going to do this morning, we're actually going to use a mudra as well. So we're going to bring our pointer finger and our thumbs together to make this kind of okay shape. Yep, yeah. and then you can place them back down on your palms. And this mudra is, is really just to create an intention of, um, of energy to be shared not only with us, but with those around us um, in love and kindness. So that's kind of the, the, this mudra. Okay, that's why it's like, okay, yes, we're here together. Um, all right, so we're going to use this mudra. So it just means we're going to hold our hands in this position as we breathe. And as we um, continue, uh, use this breath. This breath is um, just a, a way to create some centering um, in our heart and in our mind and really just be in a place to look at the moment. So the breath is um, a four count breath in and then we hold slightly at the top and then a four count breath out, hold slightly at the bottom. 
Um, so I will guide us through. I encourage you to do this breath um, through the nose, um, but if you um, need to change the pace or in or out through your mouth, whatever feels most um, grounding for your body, please feel free to change it up as needed. All right, so we'll begin. Take an exhale out to empty out. Breath in. Hold. Breath out. Breath in. Breath, breath out. Breath in. Breath out. Breath in. Breath out. Breath in. Breath out. Big breath in through your nose and release everything out through your mouth. And when your feet come into your heart, press your palms together. And this is just to seal in the breath. So big breath in, press your palms together. With even more force, press your palms together, breath out. Good, one more time, breath in. Really press and release. Good. All right. Begin to open your eyes. Make your way onto your space in the child's pose. So spread your knees out wide. Bring your forehead. Yeah, big toes to touch, knees out wide. Bring your forehead down to the earth. Yeah, stretch your fingertips long in front of you. That's good. And we'll just begin to settle in here. And notice the quality of your breath. Notice where it wants to hold, where it wants to release. Yeah, maybe begin to rock your forehead from side to side. And maybe even create a little bit more space for your torso to rest in between your thighs. So foreheads down on the earth, fingertips stretch long in front of you. That's it. Just take some nice, calm, easy breaths. Now begin to walk your fingertips just slightly up and over to the right edge of your mat. Your left fingers will travel over your right heel. Only your forehead can lift you, but keep your hips rooted. Creating a little stretch. Your left low back in the cage, creating more space for your breath. More breath in. Breath out. Or maybe you can walk your fingertips back to the center. 
what you Play with shifting the weight from side to side, forward and back. Shake your head, yes. remainder of class. Take a big full breath in. Bigger breath out. Ground down through your feet, connecting to the earth below you. And this grounding connection is what helps us stand tall. Ground down to connect so we can receive, so we can give. We ground down to give so we can receive even bigger. Like sonar from a dolphin, send messages of love radiating from your heart to only hear the gifts of light and love and kindness vibrating louder in our own heart. Take a moment to decide where you would like to dedicate this light, this love, and this kindness today. Do you dedicate this healing energy to yourself? those around you, those ahead of us, maybe those who have already left. Take another big breath in. Big breath out, let it leave. Yeah. Another Full breath in, big breath out. Begin to flutter open your eyes. Bring your hands up, scoop up some new energy, and rise to Dasana Mountain Pose. Center your shoulder blades back into your sockets and keep that connected root to the earth. See if you can grow your spine one inch taller. Yeah, big breath in. Exhale, forward fold. Bring your hands through heart center. Let your head be heavy like you. Inhale, halfway lift. Pause. Bring your hands to your thighs, your shins, and create length through your spine. Keep your gaze down at the earth and tuck your chin slightly towards your chest. That's it. Breath in. And breath out, forward fold. Inhale, root down to rise tall, Tadasana Mountain Pose. This time, exhale, side bend to your right. Yeah. Now, if you anchor down through your feet, you square your hips to the top of your space. 
can release deeper length in your side body as opposed to your low back. Breath in. Breath out. Inhale, rise back to center, Tadasana. Exhale, side bend to your left. Notice the difference from side to side, where you need to readjust. Re-engage through your core and let your shoulders fall back into the socket. Breath in. Breath out. Inhale, rise, Tadasana, Mountain Pose. Exhale, Anahatasana, baby back bend, lift your heart. Cactus your arms wide. Yeah, now press down again through your heels and press your hips forward to protect through your low back. Raise your chin slightly to open up through the space in your throat. Take a breath in. Breath out. Inhale, rise, Tadasana, mountain pose. Exhale, hands to heart center, fold forward. Inhale, halfway lift, get long through your spine. Exhale, forward fold. That. Inhale, rise, Tadasana, mountain pose, get tall. Exhale, side bend to your right. Inhale, lift, Tadasana. Exhale, side bend left. Inhale, Tadasana. Exhale, crack open through your heart. Inhale, Tadasana. Exhale, forward, head and head. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, rise, Tadasana, mountain pose. Exhale, side bend. Inhale, lift. Exhale, side bend. Inhale, rise. Exhale. Exhale, open through your heart space, squeeze your shoulders on your back. Inhale, Tadasana, get big. Exhale, fold forward. Inhale, halfway lift. This time, exhale, plant your hands down and step back to your high plank. Take a full breath in. As you're ready, begin to lift your torso up. And feel the stretch through your hip flexor on your left side. Excellent. Now as you're ready and you feel strong and stable, begin to rise your fingers up towards the sky. Hug your ribs back closer to your hip tip. And press down through the front foot to create more stability. Breath in, breath out. One more inhale. Exhale, bring your fingertips down towards the earth. And we're going to rock our hips back and bring your front toes up. Our splits have to come up. Yeah. Now in this posture here, sometimes it can be a little intense. 
straight in through your front leg. Yeah, and as you're ready to arrive in this space, it's really about opening through your right hip. So guide your knee closer to your pinky toe. Hug your belly in. And as you're ready, you begin to extend your arm equal both directions. Yeah, can you see that your hips and your shoulders are stacked on top of each other to create more, the most length to our spine. Take a big breath in, an even bigger breath out. One more breath in. Exhale, extended side angle, reach forward with your torso. Bring your right wrist to the inside of your right thigh. And your left hand reaches up towards the sky. Yeah. Now really anchor down through your back foot to help create strength through your low back. Your gaze can be up in the sky, neutral or even down at your front foot, whatever feels best in your cervical spine. Breath in. Trust the stability in your legs. Big breath out. Inhale, reverse warrior. Keep your legs just as they are and guide your right fingertips up towards the sky. Now square your shoulders over your hips so that you feel the stretch along your rib cage as opposed to your low back. Take another big breath in. Bigger breath out. One more inhale. Exhale, cartwheel your arms down to the earth. Step back to your high plank. Bigger breath in. Exhale, shift your hips up and back. Another breath in. The Inhale, climb up your left leg high. Exhale, step to the low lunge. Yeah, find your place and don't be afraid to assist yourself. And as you're ready, begin to drop your right knee to the heart. Rise and press through. Feel the stretch. This time through the right hip flexor, so tight as we spend so much time sitting. And really press down to the left heel to help create balance. Let this gentle opening feel good. More inhale. Exhale, slowly bring your fingertips down to the floor. And begin to guide your hips back. Half yeah, now notice one side may be tighter than the other. And you notice that your hips want to jet out over that right ankle. So see if you can guide them back so that your spine is long. 
that might be the bend your left knee more as the stretch into the thighs. All right, and then three. Full breath in. Full breath out. Slowly begin to fall forward, bringing your left foot slowly back to the earth. Lift your right leg up away from the earth and glide your heel down. Big opening for your two feet. So your back foot is parallel to the short edge of your mat, and your left toes point directly in front. And just as you did before, just begin to settle in. Bend and straighten through my front leg to help guide open a little bit more space through my left hip. Now really strengthen through the back leg. This helps me create more opening and space through the left hip. As you are ready, extend your arms in either direction. Hug in through your belly. Open more space through your heart. Yeah, relax your neck and your face. Big breath in. Big breath out. One more inhale. Exhale, extended side angle. Reach forward with your fingertips and then bring your arms to earth and sky. Press your left forearm into your inner thigh to create more opening through your chest. Recommit to the lunge and strengthen your back leg to lengthen your spine. Yeah, that's it. So nice. Big breath in. Big breath out. Inhale. Reverse warrior. Keep your legs just as they are and guide your left fingertips up over your head. Square your shoulders again to the long edges of your mat. You can feel the stretch through your side body. That's it. Breath in. Breath out. One more inhale. Exhale, cartwheel your arms down to the earth and step your feet back. Right leg forward. Oh. Flow through that. And exhale your hips down like this. Remind yourself to breathe meditating. You will live in your heart as you can. Inhale, your right leg high. Exhale, step through, low bunch. Drop the back knee, inhale, rise, crescent moon. Exhale, hips back, half honey bun. Inhale, crawl forward, low lunge. Exhale, drop your knees. Inhale, big opening, warrior two. Exhale, extended side angle. Inhale, lift, reverse, warrior. Exhale, cartwheel your arms down to the earth. Step back, right leg. Exhale, down. Inhale, left leg high. Exhale, low. Inhale, drop your back knee and rise, press and move. Exhale, slowly shift your hips back, half on. Inhale, fall forward. Shift your back leg. Exhale, drop your heel. Inhale, big open, warrior two. Exhale, extended side angle. 
Inhale, reverse warrior, lift up. Exhale, cartwheel your arms down to the earth. Step back to your head. We'll do that one more time with a couple of changes. Inhale, lift your head down, down. Yeah, breath in. 
breath out. Inhale, bring hands into your heart. Exhale, drop your hips just a little bit lower. Prayer twist to your right. So left elbow comes to the outside of your right knee. Yeah. Now again, take a peek down at your knees. Make sure they're in one line. And then as you are ready, again, to press through your palm to bring them closer to your heart, creating more of a twist through your spine. With your chin away from your chest, feel the release through your spine. With the top of the spine twist, releasing. Take one more breath in. Exhale, forward fold. Yes. We're going to take a little break here. So we're going to bring our feet out about six foot distance for Pada Hadasana. Yeah. <laughs> so for Pada Hadasana, we're going to bring our palms underneath our feet. So big, big, generous bend through your knees. Almost go to your torso, sandwiches down to your thighs. Now, ideally, you want your toes to touch your wrists, and then you can really use the strength of your arms to create more length through your hamstring here. Your Hold on Let this feel good. Breath in. And move from underneath your feet. And pull the heel up back. Inhale, rebound through your heels and halfway lift through your spine. Reset. Exhale, forward. Inhale, look at that in a chair pose. Again, sit your hip, hips down and back. Really trust the strength of your legs here. Hug your belly in to support your upper body. Inhale. Stay for the exhale. Inhale, break the hands to the heart. Exhale, sit your hips a little lower. Prayer twist to the left. Knees in alignment. So this helps square off through your hips. Now use a gentle twist for the spine, so pressure through your palms, pressing your palms closer to your heart space. Your knee is designed to help create a deeper twist through your spine. Again, lift your chin away from your chest so that your crown of your head points directly. Slide right over your feet. Stay with it. One more breath in. Inhale, release, take your toes to your heart. Inhale, rise, Kadasana, and pose. Exhale, hands to heart. We're going to move into a balancing posture. Dance So shift the weight, all of your weight, into your left foot. And begin to lift your right foot back behind you. Grab the right with your right hand. Yeah, ideally we want to grab the inside arch of the back foot. Take your time. There's no rush. Trust the earth below you. Now your left hand is going to come out in front of you as if it's holding on to a wall in front of you, keeping you steady and stable. Engage through your core. Find one place ahead of you to steady your gaze. And find your dedication once again. Breath in. As you are ready, begin to kick your foot into your hand. And slowly inch forward. There's a push and pull of energy. An exchange that we create in our own shape. Stay with it. Breath in, breath out. One more inhale. 
Exhale, slowly release back to the earth. Inhale, scoop some new energy. Bring it into your heart. Let go of the first side. Know that any wobbles are just your way of saying happy. Begin to shift your weight into your right foot. Lift the left foot away from the earth. Bring your left hand down to meet your foot and grab the inside arch of your foot. Yeah, take your time. Steady your gaze. Find your point of focus. Bring your right hand in front of you as if it's planted on a wall, firm and steady. Holding you up. Trust the strength in your right leg rooted to the earth. And as you are ready, begin to kick into your hand, creating a hinge at the hips. Trust your body here. Stay with it. Or inhale, slowly release, back down to the earth. Inhale, mountain pose. Exhale, side bend to your right. Inhale, lift to asana. Exhale, side bend left. Inhale, rise to asana. Exhale, open to your heart. Inhale, Tadasana. Exhale, forward. Inhale, halfway lift, find length. Exhale, plant your hands down. Step back to your high plank. Inhale, lift your hips downward, facing down. Inhale, lift your right leg high. Exhale, half twist. Bring right knee to meet right wrist crease. Yeah, shimmy your left leg back. And as you begin to feel settled in, bring your gaze over your left shoulder. Just help to make sure that your left leg is directly behind you. Uh, it creates any tension in your knee. Just make your way onto your back reverse figure four. Otherwise, as you're ready, begin to sweep your pigeon, coming down to your elbows. I encourage you to find a space where your forehead can connect to the earth. Yeah, maybe this is on stack fist, stack palm, maybe arm can extend all the way in front of you, forehead meeting the earth. Intended to be a deep release to the right hip. Holding on to the tension and tightness. We allow some of that love that we've been meditating now to come back to us to receive a little bit more light and love and kindness for our physical. Again, as you make your way back up to your palm, curl your back toes under, and bring your way back to down and take the spot. A rush of energy back through your right leg. Inhale, lift your left leg high. Exhale, half pigeon. Left knee, meet left wrist crease. So it should be your right leg back this time. Set this up. Maybe if you need to adjust your uh, left leg, you guide your gaze back behind you. Thank you, time. And as you are ready, begin to sleep your pigeon. Ways, have more connection with the earth, more support by the earth. Again, 
find that third eye to earth connection. What are you holding? Meditation of the cup. Now release the left leg long. 
hug your right knee up and in towards your armpit. Exhale, lift your spine, but bring your right knee across your body. Keep your shoulder rooted into the earth. Feel the gentle twist through your spine. Inhale, come back to center. Give yourself another big squeeze with both knees into your chest to help realign through your spine. And this time, we'll relax your right leg down to the toe. Now let your heel touch. Now hug your knee up into your armpits. Give it a squeeze. And then gently guide your left knee across your body. Feel good and gentle. Your shoulders into the earth. Another big breath in. Even bigger breath out. Inhale, come back to center. Hug your knees into your chest. Give yourself one big, huge squeeze of breath. Exhale, shavasana. Open up your legs and hands fall wide to the earth. Palms face the sky. Snuggle your shoulder blades underneath your back to create a shelf for your heart. And just to begin. To settle in. Settle into this space where your head is heavy on the earth. Your eyes are closed. Yeah, that's it. Trust that I will guide you out right on time. And can you just embrace here for a moment? all of your strength. And all of the gifts you give and receive. Let your breath be easy. Relax the space in between your eyebrows. hear your voice, but I know your words of wisdom will find me. I may not be able to feel your touch, and I know your love will surround me. I may not be able to see you, but I know I will find you everywhere. time in your day, you stay right here. Mm -hmm. 
enjoy the Shavasana and its sweet surrender. If you'd like to end class together, begin to wiggle your fingertips and your toes. Roll over onto your favorite side, using your bicep as a pillow. Make as little effort as possible. Guide yourself up to a seated position at the top of your space. Keeping your eyes closed, bring your hands into your heart. The light, the love, the kindness in me honors and sees the light, the love and kindness in each and every one of you. Bow forward and dedicate this practice to all those who deserve. Namaste. Namaste, my friends. Thank you so much.